And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 60 level worker quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we're here with Eld in the dual crozier at X6 Y9. And the quest is called A Winter's Sail, which will give us one of each of the grade four crafting materials. So Eld, uh, sorry, Eld's eyes are shining with ambition. So, Mifri, my business is at the cusp of great growth. I can feel it. Uh, Eld, your business is threefold larger than when we met. How could you possibly expand it more than you already have? Uh, with a commission of great size, armor for the Temple Knights, until now the Holy See's own craftsmen made all of it, but not any longer. So this person is talking to her. So strange you mentioned that, actually. There are calls within the Order to create a more mobile band of knights. They ought to be discussing what's, what armor will let them move swiftly and silently. Aha. So if they choose lever, just think of the rewards we shall reap. But how did you come to know the inner workings of the Order? For that matter, why do you spend... Your every free moment here. Um, who are you, Master <laughs> Orthochel? It's like only now she's asking who he is. So, Sir Ortofel, if you must know, I am a Temple Knight. I'm currently homeless Temple Knight. My wife kindly soul that sorry, kindly soul that she is threw me out. Even that leather bag did not soothe her savage temper. So I've taken a cheap room at Cloud Nine and wandered the town by the day. Which is partially because I am charged with supplying the order. I've been looking into leather armor and have heartily suggested it, but I am alone in saying so, and my voice carries little weight. It's customary for the order to armor itself in plate and chainmail. Simply put, no one will give that up in favor of leather. But the wood whalers and the gods quiver have long used leather armor. Surely that is proof enough of its worth. Well, I'd anticipate some opposition. I drew up a letter to ask Guildmaster Eva's advice on selling leather armor. Could you take it to her and explain the situation, Mifri? Okay, so let's do that now. So, in the meantime, Orchifon and I, pardon me, Sir Orchfachal, I can't pronounce his name, and I shall discuss how best to approach the order. Let's see. So let's go to the Level Workers Guild at Gridania. So because Gridania is our home, we can just return there for free. Okay, so we can teleport straight to the Level Worker Guild. So Aethanet Level Worker Guild. Okay, let's do this. Almost there. Okay, here's Giva. So, Mifri, I haven't heard a peep from Eld or you. I take it the two of you have worked out a deal. Okay. So, letter to Guildmaster Giva. It says, An envelope addressed to Giva, Guildmaster of the Level Worker Guild in Gridania, Eld, is printed in small letters on the lower right corner on the reverse side. Well, it sounds as if you've used up your time well enough. And getting a commission from the Temple Knights would be a feather in Eld's cap. However, I don't see why you need my help selling this idea. You know, leather armor is light and flexible. The Knights, likewise, no plate mail is heavy and stiff. That should be enough. If the Order is choosing metal because they think it protects them better, then you provide proof of the contrary. Simple, no? Ah, and should they want precedence, tell them of Cicero Ponderfoot. He was a level worker who visited the Holy See in the time of my grandfather. Cicero, though skilled in his own right, needed Gridanian expertise to craft armor 
impervious to pincers, stingers, claws, and fangs. With the Guildmaster's help, he succeeded. To this day, no one has devised a better lever hardened technique. It used sorry, it's used in every suit of armor for the Wood Whalers and the God's Quiver. You have inherited it as a pupil of mine, in fact. Well, there you have it. With the commission with that tale of friendship between nations, uh, failing, fashion a suit of armor with your customary care and demonstrate its effectiveness. Now, are you quite finished wasting my time? Yeah, like, even when you do the level 1 to 50 level worker quests, Giva is just not a nice person. She's probably the meanest um, like guild master of the crafters in the whole game. She's really, really rude. And I think the nicest one would be the leader of the Carpenter Guild. So, the old, the old man. Anyway, let's return to the jeweled crozier and talk to Eld. And we see what we're going to have to craft for this quest. I see a hype. Okay, so let's keep going. It's always nice when you run by your own FC friends, why not? So here is Eld, so let's see what Eld has to say. Okay, there's God. So welcome back Mifri, we were just about to begin our discussion. I raised the issue of leather armor with the other knights, but not a man among them will give up his plate mail. Moreover, someone brought the same idea to the Order years ago, and was dismissed on the basis of tradition. Heavens know that I care deeply for tradition, but now isn't the time. The calamity has changed us and changed everything, and we cannot pretend otherwise. Just look at the weather. A good point, Gerhard. It's cold now, and like to get colder. Wearing woolen tunics underneath plate mail is a cumbersome affair. Leather armor offers more warmth and greater ease of movement. I don't think that alone will be enough though. Mifri, what did Guildmaster Giva have to say? So, our ideal armor will be slightly thicker for warmth and bear the brunt of even a behemoth's attack, but such is possible, yes? An Ishgardian artisan came up with this, eh? Well, add that to the fact that the Wood Whalers and God Quivers use this technique still, and maybe we'll make the sale. Sorry, what did you say the name of the artisan was? Uh, they seem concerned. So, Cicero Ponderfoot, good heavens, El's grandsire. I've seen his name in our records. He was the only, sorry, he was the one who brought leather armor before the Temple Knights and left for Gadania after being turned down. We must get this commission. My grandsire left me little, save one set of designs for leather armor. They've always been beyond my skill to craft, but I dare say you could manage it. You know the technique he spent his life perfecting, Mifri. Please use it to fashion this chivalric battle dress of aiming. I have a feeling this will be a sight to see. Cool. So we now need to make a chivalric battle dress of aiming. So let's see. Chivalric. Assuming it's a body piece. So let's say master body. Okay, here we go. Wow. These, like, crafts seem to get harder and harder and harder. Like, this is a one-star level 60 craft. But it doesn't say high quality. It just says make it. So, um, and it says we need 589 control to make it. Have we got that? We actually don't have enough control to make it. So, that's really, really bad. That's really awful, actually. So let's see. Um, level worker, level 60. 
Let's see what a level 60 tool will give us. So level 60 tool will give us 1, 2, 4 control. And this gives us 101, so 20. So basically we need to make our level 60 uh, level worker item. So once I've made the level 60 level worker knife, then we will continue. Okay, so we were able with our blacksmith to make this item, the Aurum Regis creasing knife, just to make sure that we meet the minimum requirement for the item we need to make, which is the chivalric battle dress of aiming. So let's make that now. I just I prefer using my food as on CP rather than on control, that's for sure. And we need two Dawnborn whatever, so let's see how much those cost. The Dawn Pawn A for Sands. We need two. 16k. I can't really avoid paying for them. So, two Aurum Regis Nuggets. So, do I have the mats for those? The Aurum Regis Sand. Do I have any? Or, okay, I've got Aurum Regis. So, I can make those. A Grade 1 Dexterity Dissolvent. Okay. So, Dexterity. We need Sprig of mist and deep tears a okay, sprig of mist we need just four four they're always they sell them like so many of them in one go but I, I literally I might go and gather them myself rather than worrying about that okay and deep eye tears Okay, deep eye tears. We need eight. So let's see. Five plus three is eight. Yay, mass. So next we need chimerical felts. So ch chimerical felts obviously made with leather worker. There it is. So we need five uh, chimera main, one fleece, one natron. America. Let's just see how much they cost. Okay, four and a half k each, or fifteen k. No, thank you. But let's see. We can get five. And these. So we will cut the price in half by doing it ourselves. That's for sure. One fleece. And it's why I, I keep saying in my videos over and over and over again why Omni Crafting rules is I show it again and again. Like just to make this one item, we need items from Alchemist, Goldsmith, Weaver, and Level Worker. So it's like for this craft, we need four crafts in order to make it. Let's see if we have any Natrons available, just so I don't have to craft one. Not that they're difficult to make, it's just that I might already have some natrons. The alumens, black alumens. Um, okay, let's see if I've got the mats at least to make a natron. Um, okay, here it is. Okay, I, I literally need a rock salt, so I should be good to go to make that. No problem. And... Um, Amphithea lever. The Amphithea levers. We need nine Amphithea skins. Okay, sorry, I spelled that wrong. The Amp skins. Nine of them. The seven. Eight, nine. So, with the items I made in the last couple of days, I made back most of the money I've spent already. Thank God. And that's generally how crafting is. It's like you just you make more money than you spend. So let's talk to this vendor and see if they have like a single rock salt for us to buy. Okay, rock salt. Rock salt. Uh, rock salt, where are you? Why can't I see it? Where is rock salt? I cannot see rock salt. Okay, I guess it's not on this vendor. Wouldn't be on this vendor either, this is a jeweler. 
Okay, if it's not here, then we can just check the other towns, armorer, nope. Let's see, weaponsmith, nope. Let's try this one for rock salt. Any rock salts? No, there's no rock salts here. Okay, well, anyway, we have to travel around to just get a couple more items. Okay, so, let's see. From, I usually like to get a lot of the crafting materials from our FC vendor, because the FC vendor basically has all of the basic mats in one place, rather than having to go around the different towns. There we go, material supplier, reagents, rock salt. There you go, one rock salt, that's all I needed. Um, yeah, just one, that's all I need. Okay, so let's make the natron. Make that now. And I said I like having different macros for different level ranges. And um, I know that this video might not be of interest to everyone, but I love crafting, so I like showing the entire journey of gathering all the mats and so on. Okay, that's the natron made. Next, we need to make the free levers, so let's do that now. The amphitheater levers, yep, synthesize. Which item do we have? The 60 tool, so we can do the proper macro. Okay. So let's see. Keep this going. Let's just get the, the craft going. And let's see, let's see. I can't check the list, the crafting list, while one another finger is crafting. So it was three of these levers. We need to get two of those grade one dexterity potions. And um, I can't remember what else we needed. We already have two of the dawnborn but like i said there isn't any requirement to make it high quality i'm just going to try and make it high quality because i'm mifri damn it so we were short by one that is so annoying so we're going to do this again it's so annoying failing a craft by one progress like i really really need to sort out my stats just so that this stops happening <laughs> it's happened more than once recently so, yeah. Why do I keep making the same mistake? But like I said, this is why we progress with crafting. This is why we keep upgrading our gear, is to make sure that these simple things don't happen anymore. Okay, let's keep going. So believe me, when I get round to upgrading my gear, I'm going to be going really, really over the top. Let's see. Okay, next. So because the first one actually blew up, it means that I'm going to have to go and buy three more skins. So uh, this is the result of procrastination, and this is why I say with crafting, when you start crafting, keep crafting. Don't stop until you're like max gear. Just keep going, because you just don't know, like, because it, it said it's just now delaying what I want to, other things I want to do. So it's always a good idea to stay on top of the game when it comes to crafting and gathering, so that you can be self-reliant. You can make any item you need in the game along the journey, and you can. Just enjoy yourself and have fun, and you're not delayed. Okay, 28%, not the best, but whatever. Because oh, I said, it, we don't even need the final mats to be high quality. It would just be a bonus. Okay, so anyway, let's check the chest piece again. Let's see what mats are now missing. So here it is, Battle Dress of Aiming. We need one more lever. We need one Chimerical Felt, two Aurum Regis Nuggets, and a grade, two Grade 1, whatever. So, let's make the Aurum Regis Nuggets. Righty, righty, righty. Okay, synthesize, synthesize. Okay, so let's do this.
Okay, and for anyone wondering about, like, let's say you like my videos, you you know, you're thinking about starting crafting, what you can do is you can go onto my YouTube channel and find my new players crafting series, which will guide you along the way to getting towards max level crafting. So, and I really, like, in the first video, like, one to five, I really explain what crafting is, how to start everything about everything. Like, you can't go wrong if you watch the new players crafting series. And eventually you can get to this point. And to be honest, there are lots of crafters who are beyond this point as well. So there is a lot of gameplay just in the crafting system of this game. It's really awesome. You could be a full-time crafter and always have something to do. But let's make another nugget because we need two. The next. Okay. So... We are progressing on nicely. And I do also have power leveling guides. So if you happen to have lots and lots of gill and you want to just burn your way to level 50 plus, then I do have for all eight crafts power leveling guides explaining how to get those as quickly as possible. And I will be making new power leveling guides for level 50 to 60 as well. So I have both types of guides. One for do it yourself and another for burn your way. And again, it depends what type of player you are. Uh, I cater to both audiences. Okay, so that's the nuggets made. So now let's make the um, potions. Ding! Okay, so let's see. We've got those two made. We need two grade one dexterity dissolvents. So let's see what's required. Two, uh, two sprigs of mist dill. Okay, and one chimerical felt. Okay, so let's make the Chimerical Felt first. So let's switch to Weaver. Do we have the level 60? No, nope, we have the level 55. No problem. Okay, so let's make the Felt. Next. Okay. So again, we're relying on this macro. Coolio, coolio. So this is definitely the week of um, crafting videos. As you see, like all week I've been releasing the level 60 crafting and gathering guides, but whatever, as long as it's done. And after all this, and I'll work on the two-star melding guide, which I think a lot of people have been waiting a very long time for. And my general approach will be for melding is I'm going to max meld my 150 crafting gear i'm not going to bother with any of the new stuff except for the tools only the tools i'm going to keep the shared gear so let's see so that's the felt made but now we need to get the sprigs and we need to get the lever so hello kitty hello so let's leave let's keep moving on let's see Okay, so, Amphitheater skins again. I said this is what happens when you're just not paying attention or whatever. Okay, so that's that. So, or if you're just unlucky, like I just didn't have the stats. I was just, I was only one progress short. Okay, but that's why I've got different macros for different situations. So this macro focuses more on progress. This one focuses more on quality. If progress is not a problem but it, it depends on your gear for each class like why I've got the different ones okay right so let's do this one for the levers cool now, the thing is that you might have noticed with that chivalric battle dress is that it needs 1100 progress. So we're going to have to be very careful about how we finish the craft. So I definitely will be doing that craft manually. Especially given that we only get, was it 215 progress per Capitalism uh, 2. 
which means it will require like six moves if I was only using Careful Synthesis 2. Okay, so we need, let's do body rather than searching the whole list. Um, this one, so two grade one dissolvents. So we need four sprigs of mist. Let's check our gatherer. So sprig of dist, sprig of this here. Then the twin pools. So let's go to the twin pools. It might actually be quicker for us to go to Pale Feather and fly through this zone line rather than flying from Falcon's Nest. Okay. So let's change to Botanist. Okay. Flying involves being above the ground, not on it. We learn something new every day. Okay, so it's literally just like a 10 second flight to get to the zone line. It's right there. Fly higher, damn it. Okay. So, here we go. Here's the zone line. And it is nice, That's what, this is why I said I leveled up the gathering classes, so any odd item where they're only selling stacks of like 30 to 99 or whatever on the market board, and I just don't need that many, I can just get them myself. Okay. And remember as well that as gatherers you can stealth, so you don't need to worry about monsters and stuff. We went to the wrong place. Okay, so it's not these, it must be lower level ones. Okay. Where are the lower level ones in the twin pools? Okay, these low level. These are level 60 as well. Yeah, it's not these. Why won't I learn my lesson? So let, let's just try a different area of the twin pools. Maybe up here somewhere. Okay, 50, we're looking for 55. Here we go, 55 patch. So we need four of the... Here we go, finally found them. The so one, two, three, four. So there we go, we have them now. So let's now return to foundation. And that's the fun of this game, it's like, it's not only just about sitting in a corner and crafting for years on end. It's like, there is gathering the mats, doing quests, doing leaves, making items for FC friends, and so many other things involved in the journey. I see change to Alchemist. Oh so, yeah, Aethernet, the Jewel Crozier. Okay. Next, let us... Let's make the grade one. Emphasize. Let's see. God, we have 30 seconds left, so... I'll renew my food. Okay. Next, let's do... Let's see, what item do we have? 55 one, so let's hit this macro. Okay, so that's the first one made. Let's make the second one. So I have shared every single macro I'm using, every single technique, everything is shared as different videos on YouTube. I did not use my food, whoops. I really should have, silly me. 
Okay. You can hope. It's not going to happen, is it? Okay. That's, that was my own fault for not paying attention to my food. But anyway, so that should be now all of the materials for Lever Worker. So let's turn in. So this requires 1100 difficulty, so I'm going to literally save like six moves for progress. Let's see if we can make it high quality. I doubt it, but let's try. Just for the sake of trying. The comfort zone. Tricks of the trade. In a quiet. Steady hand two. Hasty touch. Precise touch. Hasty touch. Hasty touch. And another. Steady hand two. Steady. Sorry. Hasty touch. Comfort zone. Masters Men 2, and literally we're going to just finish it as is. So great strides and bygots. Okay, we have 14% chance, whatever. So it doesn't require high quality. So let's do piece by piece. Piece by piece. Uh, 600. Let's do another piece by piece. Okay, let's do Ingenuity 2. Let's do standard synthesis. Standard synthesis. Done. Okay, so we made it. That's that's the main thing. We made it at least. That's that's all that was really asked of us. So we don't have to worry about it too much. So let's hand it in to Eld. Okay. Let's talk to Eld. So, have you any difficulty reading my grandsire's notes, Mifri? I'll admit the squiggles are hard to decipher. Okay, let's do that. Hand over. So, gods above, this armor is more splendid than I could have imagined. Every stitch is careful, precise, and yet it has the same sense of warmth as my grandfather's work. He was praised as gen a genius, so revolutionary were his designs but he had no sense of, for business and died having never lived up to his potential. I chose to become a merchant because of that. Quality and craftsmanship are important, but they mean nothing if a product never reaches the customer. I'll never be as his equal as a level worker, but I can serve the people in ways he, could, he never could. My dream is a shop in every town, each delivering fine goods to those who need them. And I can only do that if we succeed today. Come, let us go before the Temple Knights and triumph where Grandfather failed. They will receive us at the Lightfeather Proving Grounds. I will go ahead with Sir Ortev Fachel. Uh, meet us there, my friend. Okay, so let's go to the Lightfeather Proving Grounds. So we need to take the Aethernet to the Forgotten Knight. Let's do that now. Okay. Okay, so here's the Aethernet Shards. The Forgotten Knight. Okay. So let's talk to Arta Fachal. Interesting name, as always. So, not bad on me, eh? Now, let us see if we can sell 100 sets on the order, or to the order. So, as you say, Mr. Eld, we do suffer from the ever-present snows. I also did not deny that a number of my knights have succumbed to frostbite, and their metal armor was a factor. But even so... Few among us would trust our lives to the strength of leather. Then allow us to put your worries to rest, Sir uh, Handelope.
Eek. Bit mean. Yeah, Let, let's test the armor, shall we? So, what do you say to that display, Commander? And mayhap there is merit in leather armor after all. I think it would serve well for scouting and stealth. Okay. Yeah. Like, what did he expect? That the bear would just be nice to him the whole time? So we will continue our talks later, though I may give... It, I ask you give me some time. The Order has never gone outside the Holy See for its armor, but I give you my word that my knights will don your levers. Sir Handelope, you have my sincerest thanks. I need no thanks, Mistress Eld. Sir Archifon's armor protected him, and that is proof enough for me. Tell me, who crafted it? Mifri, my lord, a level worker of incomparable skill. I had not known you were so skilled an artisan, madam, but great talent must never go unrecognized. I will personally see that it does not. Cool. So, Mifri, I am a step closer to my dreams thanks to you. Well, let us return to my store. The place will grow busier and busier from here onwards. Okay, so let's go back to the jeweled grosier. Okay, so Aethernet shards, the jeweled grosier. Let's sprint to Eld. Okay, here she is. Right. So, I could not have done this without you, my friends. But what a strange chain of events. Eld, your grandsire ventured to Gridania, where he planted the seeds of his technique. The flowers that bloomed from them returned to Ishgard in Mifri's hands. We were fantastically lucky. Perhaps we were, Master Garhand, but luck means little without skill and effort. I have greater dreams for my shop yet, and I will achieve them only by striving harder. Knowing how hard you strive, my dear, I think I'd better start rebuilding my storehouses as proper workshops. So, Mifri, thank you again. My grandsire's technique returned with you to Ishgard, and I will see that my own craftsman put it to good use. Well, you have the Temple Knights clamoring for leather armor. They would like the name of the artisan. The artisan's name? Why, I have a splendid idea about that. I'm going to build a new workshop, and I'm planning to put your name on the sites outside. Just as Fen Yi is known in Gridania, so too shall your name become a brand and a new standard of excellence, Mifri. Okay, so let's complete. So that's the level 60 level worker quest done, and obviously when we're thinking about the next expansion, we'll assume it starts from Eld as well towards level 70 i guess so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri